Hi everyone, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts and I am going to show you how to make these this cute picture frame using Dollar Tree supplies. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be using for this picture frame project. So I bought this picture frame from Dollar Tree and I also bought this coaster from Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the coaster on here after I get it painted. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I am going to paint it with this elephant paint. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just gonna get this little insert out of here. This you wanna keep because you want, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> Um, a little bit of backing, a support for when you put the picture in there. So I am just going to start painting. Oh, it looks like it needs to be mixed up. I am going to start painting this. Okay, got my paint mixed up and I am going to get this whole front part of this painted first. Okay, I have the whole front painted. I'm not worrying too much about um, coverage because I'm actually gonna be distressing this a little bit. So you get the front painting painted, then you need to make sure that you get inside your heart right here. So I'm gonna go all the way around the heart. Okay, I have the heart done, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around <clears throat> all the outside of it, all the way around. Okay, I have the whole thing painted, including the edges, and now because I'm impatient, I am going to take my heat gun and I am going to dry my paint. Okay, got the front all dried. Now I am going to paint the back. I know you don't see the back, but I think it's going to look way better with the back painted. So I'm going to get the back all painted, and then I'm also going to make sure that I get in this little heart area right here. Okay, I am almost done painting this, but I did want to say real quick, um, I got this craft paper right here. I got that from Dollar Tree also. Um, I priced it out because Walmart had a bigger roll of it, but actually it was cheaper to get the Dollar Tree stuff than to get the big roll at Walmart. So I just wanted to let you know that this craft paper was cheaper at the Dollar Tree than if you get the big roll at Walmart. Okay, I have the whole frame painted, then I'm going to use my heat gun, and I also want to make sure you do this little wooden double that goes in here to hold your picture up. So, make sure you paint that too. Alright, so my plan with this is I plan on dry brushing white paint on here, but I'm going to test it on the back first because I am not 100% sure that I want to do that, so... because if it's on the back, I can, I can just paint over it and I'm not really wrecking anything. So, all right, I got that on there. Then I think I'm gonna sand just a little bit and just see what that looks like. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Got the sanding marks in there, but See what that's gonna look like with the tile yeah I think that might look okay I think I am gonna go ahead and try that got probably a little too much paint on there it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and keep sanding this and then we'll try to do okay, the front. So I did the back. Now I am going to try to do the front, but I'm going to try to really just kind of tread lightly on here because 
I don't want any like really big white spots. So I just kind of want a little bit of white on there. Yeah, see, I didn't want any spots quite like that. I may just have to try to sand that down a little bit. I'm trying to go light, but just keep getting big white spots. All right, so I have the white on here, and then I'm just going to really lightly, I think, go over this to try to blend some of those bigger swoosh marks in there. I was going to sand the edges, but I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lightly brush the outside with just a little bit of white paint. All right, and then I'm just going to do the inside of the heart really lightly. And don't forget about the wooden heart, or the, sorry, the wooden dowel that you use as a stand. Okay, I have my frame all done. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tile on here. And this is the tricky part. I am so bad at getting things straight, so I'm just gonna use my ruler here and just kinda see where I am. Try to make it as straight, or it, center it as good as possible. All right, so I think right about there. Then I'm just gonna grab, I just got a Cricut market marker here. Little slash right there. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to get it on there good. So I'm gonna take, I want this to hold good cause the tile's kind of heavy. So I'm gonna use hot glue and I'm also gonna use E6000 to make sure I have a good hold. Cause this takes a while to the E6000 takes a while to completely dry. But I also want that instant kind of hold too, so that's why I put the hot glue on there. I always use a Q-tip to put my E6000 on, because otherwise if you squeeze the tube, it just keeps going. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hot glue on here. And then try to get my tile centered and push it down. All right, I have my tile on there. Then I'm going to put this back in here for now. I don't have a picture to go in here at the moment, so I'm just putting this back in here. And then after that, I think what I'm going to do is I have some of this jute and I was gonna put a little bow right above that. So hot glue should hold just fine. I'm gonna put my little bow up here. And then um, I'm gonna set the hot glue aside for right now. What I wanna do is I wanna put jute around the heart. So when I put jute on a project, I always use Mod Podge, and it is a little bit time consuming, but I don't like when the hot glue shows behind a project. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start up here and I just take a little bit of Mod Podge and I put it right here and then I hold it on. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go all the way around the heart. So, all right, so I'm halfway around the heart this does take a little bit longer with the Mod Podge because it takes a little bit to dry than the hot glue, but I just didn't want hot glue shining out and sticking, sticking out in spots, so that's why I'm using the Mod Podge. But yeah, I just put like a little, little bit here, and then I have to hold it down for a while so that it stays, so I'm just going to keep going around. All right, so I have my jute all the way around the heart and I have my little bow on there and it is finished. So next time you stop in at Dollar Tree, um, 
pick up one of these picture frames if they have it and a coaster. They've got a lot of different coasters. I actually have another project where I use them. Um, they look really, really cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, oh, you know what? I actually, my daughter and I made two other ones. I'm going to go grab those and show those to you quick. So these are the ones that me and my daughter made. My daughter made this one. I think this one turned out really, really cute. And then this is the one that I made the other night. It was really hard to find something to match that color. But yeah, these are so cute. So this is the one I just made. And I just wanted to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. And take care. Thanks. Bye.